Let me tell you about a place where legends are made. Jamaica, a tiny island that has managed to captivate the world's imagination. We're not just a country, we're an experience, a state of mind, a flavor, a vibe. Jamaica. With our music, our food, and our creative minds, we have shaped the course of history on a global scale. Jamaica is the kind of place that touches your heart and follows you home. No matter where you live, we all have a special Jamaican moment. Whether it's learning the latest reggae moves and doing them for too long and too late into the night, or the chef who knew the right amount of scotch bonnet pepper for your steak, or the hostess who never forgot your name. Once you've fallen in love with Jamaica, Jamaica is home. But right now, our home, our sweet island in the sun, is under attack from COVID-19. Like you, our entire lives have been turned upside down in ways that we could not even imagine. The population in isolation who are not able to work need food. Children are out of school. For those in rural areas, they are having an even harder time learning online. The virus is severely impacting our economy. We were improving our infrastructure and began to control our national debt. We're bringing our debt down. But now the COVID-19 is threatening to wipe out all of our progress. However, we are not about to sit around and watch that happen. As a response, the Jamaican business sector, under the leadership of the PSOJ, established the PSOJ COVID-19 Relief Fund as an urgent outreach to help those who are hungry, at risk or displaced at this time. We know that we have to put people first. Guys, 12 US dollars feeds one person for two weeks. 50 US dollars feeds a family of four for two weeks. Give all that you can, no matter how small. Every mickle, make a muckle. Please donate to our GoFundMe page at charity.gofundme.com slash stand for Jamaica. When you give to this fund, you're ensuring that the most vulnerable and needy Jamaicans are getting the help they desperately need at this point in time. I have personally given one million Jamaican dollars. The JMB company that I run has given ten million dollars. The top business in the PSOJ spent over one million US dollars to buy ventilators. We are committed. The funds will be accessed and managed in a very transparent manner. We need your financial help now because it's clear that it's only by doing this together that we'll overcome the impact of COVID-19. The reality is Jamaica alone cannot weather this storm in terms of providing for our people. No, we are not asking for much. We just want to make sure that during this time, every single person in Jamaica who needs food and sanitation is provided for. I pledge my heart for it, my heart forever Even if you weren't born here, however, you've got that Jamaica state of mind, you are one of us. Loving the spicy jerk chicken, but some of you love jerk pork, makes you one of us. Something made you watch this video. Something made you share it. Jamaica made you watch this video. You are one of us. Maybe the first time you danced with a girl, it was to a dancehall track or a reggae track. Or it was a college roommate who introduced her to reggae and dancehall. Or the Jamaican lady whose food always smells so great and you taste it and be like, yo, I want some jerk chicken. Out of many one people, we are one. Like I said, however you got that Jamaica state of mind, you are one of the many in our family. Out of many, one people. Hashtag Jamaican to the core. So from my heart to yours, we're asking you to donate now. And with us working together, we know every little thing is gonna be all right. Jamaica will be all right. The world will be all right. We will rebound. We will excel. Please donate to our GoFundMe page, charity.gofundme.com slash stand for Jamaica.